Hello everybody, welcome to 48 Hours. We are here. We are ready. Chelsea, Everton, it's just me on my own today. Sean isn't here, he's on holiday. He carries away at the game. We're going to get him at half-time. And uh, yeah, we're buzzing, we're ready. Uh, we want, uh, this Premier League week has been random. Not sure what's been going on. Liverpool losing to Palace, Arsenal losing to Villa. Just completely unexpected. But uh, we've got lots to go through today. We haven't put out what's he doing just yet. I'm going to go through a few of the goals on stream today. Because there's just been some absolute screamers. And Newcastle and Tottenham, again, going at it. You can't ever just get a 0-0 or 1-1 with them two. Last year it was 5-1 to, you know, Newcastle. This year it was 4-0 Tottenham. And now it's just been 4-1 to Newcastle again. We just can't seem to get any uh, consistency uh, with those two sides. So, I mean, we don't mind. It is what it is. So, uh, I'm going to get straight into... The usual. Where are you going? Get your, get your predictions in the chat. We're going to go through everything. Piece by piece, moment by moment. And... Hopefully get a result. Come on, you blues. Let's have a go. Da, 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 da. What am I thinking? I'm thinking, ooh, 3 1 Chelsea. I think we've got it in the locker. I think it's been a just a weekend of goals. It's just been goals, goals, goals galore. City getting six. In the City game, there were six, five, one City. Madness. I'm going to go through, like I said, the what's he doing, what's he dance for uh, each of those goals as well. Premier League don't like to tell you that stat, but we do. We keep you up to date here. Who's at fault? Who's the worst player? Who's letting your side down? Because uh, oh, it's been a rough week for everybody. So we'll see what's happening. Everyone's taking the knee at the moment, obviously. Political agendas being rammed straight into all of our fun stuff. Now, let's have a little look. See. Kicked off already, and we are classic left to right. Palmer's straight through really early. Oh, he's played it too far past Mudrick. That was really cheeky. Ten seconds in, Palmer nutmegging. Who was that, Tarkovsky? Branthwaite? Not sure who that was that he megged, but now we've got a free kick in there. Defensive third. Not bad start. <laughs> busting out. Absolutely busting out of there. Let's have a little look at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go toeing the ball away. Oh, I'm getting trodden on first thing. 30 seconds in, studs to the ankle. Oh, horrendous. Ashley Young then booting the ball at him, which is not ideal. But we move. Oh. My heart beat through that. Though. Palmer whips it in. Cucurella's all the way there. And oh, I just went all the way through. Is that Mad Weke? Oh, Chalabar, straight on the pitch as well, starting. So we're going to go through the starting 11 in a minute and go from there. So I'm going to add these. I won't be able to, so we'll stop that. All right. hmm. We will see. Got started late today, apparently, so need to get everything else cooking. So bear with. That is Everton's first goal kick, 90 seconds in. <clears throat> Pickford's up. Always plays a lot. Bless him. Pushing the back from Conor Gallagher on Onana. Not ideal. They have made some after everyone. There you go. Oh. Right, yeah, get your predictions in the chat, guys, because this is going to be, hopefully, a very interesting game. Uh, hopefully we don't concede first because raw it's just taxing and we're gonna hit the squads up shortly now oh missed the mouse Everton corner and yeah, first man syndrome. Couldn't do anything with it. 
Gusto needs to get away. Jackson, he's given it. Uh. It was a really good first minute. But then Chelsea just trying to reshape. Big up forward. Yeah, never get into it. Cucurella away. Okay, look, looking solid, looking solid. We don't mind that. Let's. Another foul as well. Three minutes in, there's been two free kicks. Ashley Young this time. Eesh. Yeah, Tarkovsky's not happy. Again, another foul. Three. Jeez, they're cooking today. Everton have been told just to go out Sunday League style. Hmm. Good old Sean Dyche. What's he got against Poch? Yeah, Tarkovsky just ran into the back of Jackson trying to play on a little cheeky flick. No one there, obviously, because Jackson loves passing to no one. Adweke starts as well. So, all right, let's go through these now then, because... Yeah. Sloppy at the moment from Chelsea, Caicedo, yep. Yeah. Looking for redemption from last week. Okay, skipping everywhere. Brings it back in. Wins a corner. First corner for Chelsea. Let's go. Good start. Matches. Bringing you the lineups. Right, so Chelsea playing a 4 2 3 1 by the looks of it. Uh, we've got Petrovic in goal, which, I mean, isn't. Isn't ideal, but I mean, we don't really have much choice. Petrovic's not been playing too great. He's been getting on what's he doing a lot. Lots of silly mistakes. Hopefully he can redeem himself. Arm's about to whip a corner in here. Great corner. Ooh. Adweke chase. Cleared. Yeah, back to Pickford. Ah, Petrovic. Uh, Gusto, Chalabar, Silva and Cucurella. So, quite a slow back four. We... I think uh, Malo Gusto trying to scare everybody there. Yeah. Arm's never on side from there, surely. And uh, Pickford <laughs> clears it like 70 yards off his line for a throw in. But uh, Gusto, great form. Uh, nearly gave away a little cheeky uh, chance for Everton there, but not the worst. Uh, Chalabar returning to form, hopefully. So we're hopefully going to see him absolutely popping off for. Um, Think of that. I've got a call coming through, but we're going to skip over that. What we got? So we got Thiago Silva, the ever reliable Thiago Silva. Hopefully, not too uh, keen to slow the game down. Everton clashing with each other. Giving it back to Mudrick. Get Palmer, clear and open. Madweke, once on his left. Everton just going to ground. Oh, no one there. Straight through a big crowd through the six yard box. Chalabar tracking, doing really well. Just over for the recovery. All right, Chelsea in good control. We like this. This is good to see, good to know. In midfield, obviously, we've got Caicedo Gallagher, quite wide, but um, covered by Palmer in the middle. We've got Madweke on the right and Mudrick on the left. So pace on the right and the left and pure talent in the middle. So hopefully Palmer's cooking today. We can keep Everton at bay. And then, obviously, Jackson up top. He is continuing his education in the Premier League. Or Petrovic out, you come, good lad. Well, it's cleared. There you go. Petrovic out from his box, sweeping. Just clearing out for a throw in. He had no chance outside the box. Can't pick it up. His own fault. Right, Everton, more of like a 4 4 1 1. So we've got a back four of, uh, from left to right, we've got Mielenko, Branthwaite, Tarkovsky, and Coleman. All back four. But Branthwaite and Tarkovsky together, both 6 5. So, aerial prowess for them. Oh, it's been brought down by... Is that Onana? No, yeah, it is Onana. Everton are whipping it in. Gusto versus Beto. Arm's got to offside. All right, sweet. So, Everton playing a hard press. Pure counter-attack in football. West Ham FC. Not a problem. And McNeil. McNeil, here we go. So, midfield for Everton. McNeil, Garner, Onana and Young. So, again... Ashley Young really experienced on the far right. Anana just been a wizard at the moment for Evan. Hopefully we can uh, <laughs> dilute him. And we have 
decent prowess at the back. So obviously we know we've got Beto up front. Who is in the middle? Oh, Gusto's given away a corner. I don't think he realised what he was doing. Uh, Decore, of course, sitting in the false nine role right behind Beto. All right, so that should be rather straightforward for... Everton versus Chelsea. Uh, I don't know what's been going on right now. Everton have got a corner. So just while that's building up, the uh, goals this week have just been immense with match week 33. That's just hit and Everton head and gone out. It wasn't even a purposeful header. Someone's just got up and donked him. Who is that? I'm not sure who that is. But yeah, it's just hit somebody and it's flown out. There you go. That's as much detail as you're getting from me there. Oh, it's Branthwaite. I should have recognised him. Sean fancies him for a... A little loan for us at the end of this year. Next season, we need a tall centre back. I think we're just going to need someone to replace Thiago Silva. That was a silly pass from Petrovic. Big triangles, but Gusto dispossessed. Anana on. Playing out Ashley Young. Oh, he's at, is that the overlap. Oh, they missed. I think he's offside anyway. I think Beto's just missed the easiest goal. Is it offside? Yeah, it's offside. All right, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway, but raw, that was Gusto again getting tackled, trying this Sean's absolute favourite. It's just the step overs, dribbling without touching the ball. Cucurella got done on the overlap. Coleman's not offside, but yeah, because Beto is very, very offside. So Chelsea are playing risky football at the moment. Trying to keep this forward. Is that Palmer's? No. Tarkovsky's got that one. They're playing everything over the top through the middle. Offside again. Very aggressive from Everton. Trying to push for the first goal straight away. No. Just completely unrelenting. <laughs> there we are. Remember to get in the chat, guys. See what you want. What you want. What you really, really want. What you think is going to happen. Right now, Everton are playing very aggressive, but I think they're going to come undone now. Madweke versus Branthwaite. Ah, oh, Branthwaite's done really good there. Stop oh, just run out of the way. <laughs> oh, Gusto's done really well to get the ball back. Lost it, but Jackson's picked it up. Their defensive third, quick feet. What's he got? Oh, he's been dispossessed by Tarkovsky. No, oh, he did everything right except just shoot. And now they're on the break. Everton whip in from the left. It's too big. And it's a throw in? Yeah, it's gone out for a throw. Chelsea throw, 11 minutes in. Not bad, not good. Here's what it is. Definitely offside. They're playing it. Oh, oh, maybe his shoulder playing him on. He's missed anyway. It's his knee, so. I mean, that angle makes it look... Oh, it's his shin. That angle makes it look like he's not miles offside, but the one I saw, one they showed a minute ago, made it look like they were miles offside. Here's what it is. Let's have a little look. Right, let's get these games up because, raw. it has been drama. Match week 33. Newcastle 4, Tottenham 0, as I said at the beginning. That's just... It's just distasteful, really. 4-0. I thought it was 4-1. I didn't know it was a clean sheet. That was a bad day for Tottenham. And then Brentford 2, Sheffield United 0. We all knew that was going to happen. Who scored? Tony get on the board? No. On Nieka and our blaster. Okay, that's cool. Tony not getting his... Uh, Standard. Oh, Palmer's just doing the most. Oh, what goal to be? Oh my God, that is incredible! What an absolute beauty of a goal! It's cold with it. It's cold with it. Sean, where are you? That was incredible. Scrappy, incredible dribbling. The link up between Jackson and Palmer there was perfect. Incredible. What have you done? What a goal.
Very, very happy. Very, very impressed. <clears throat> Palmer, just, he's naughty with nutmegs, Branthwaite. Branthwaite gets a little touch on it, pushes it back in his path. Yeah, puts it back in his path. It's a oh, back heel to Jackson. Jackson falls over. One touch past Pickford. Never get into it. Across the box. Back heel pass. Jack oh, it's silky. It's silky. It's delectable. It's lucky as hell. But it is silky. Oh, the finish. The one time. But what a finish. Palmer. He's dangerous with it. He's dangerous with it. Branthwaite, what are you doing? What are we done? You got megged. And then you passed it back to Palmer. What a sausage. Definitely getting the what's he doing for that. What are you doing? Right, Brentford 2, Sheffield United 0. Back to, as I was saying. Man City 5. Honestly, it's just not fair. It's like men versus boys. Man City versus Luton. I know Barkley got a, a goal. Am I right with that, Barkley? Yeah, Ross Barkley. Playing really well for Luton. But Hashioka own goal again. Three weeks in a row. The boy just loves scoring in his own net. If this, To be fair, this one hits face. So, that's unfortunate. That's Everton. Free kick. Flown straight over everybody. Tarkovsky just putting it a bit too far. Uh, Kovacic with a beautiful volley. Half volley. It was sumptuous. Completely out of his control. But... You listen, you, you hit 100 of them, you're going you're gonna to score one. And that's the one he hit. So, beautiful goal on that one. Uh, that's a no-fault screamer. That's an easy one. Harlan, pen. Whoever gave the pen, that's an easy one. You're at fault. Don't be a sausage. What? Just, oh, right. He's already taken it. Petrovic just drawing everyone in. Oh, we've broken through Everton again. It's three on three. Three on three. Madweke on the left. Mudrik. Madweke. He's good. Oh, how's that not bundled in? Ah, oh, Madrid skied it over the bar. Of course he has. That is naughty. What on earth happened there? It's just whipped past Palmer. So Madweke, Palmer on the right, Madrid left, Madweke's run up, overlap for Madweke, flicked it in. It's hit Palmer on the hip and gone away from the goal instead of towards it. He's well offside, but. It is what unless he's behind the ball, but yeah, that would have been that would have been ruled out anyway. Oh, Palmer's had his teeth done. Good lad, right? <laughs> yeah, he's had him whitened or he's had the bond in. <laughs> but yeah, he's doing well. What a guy! What a guy! Uh, Jeremy Doku. Now I saw this goal as well. Doku's. Oh, this was just sumptuous. I don't know who's at fault. We'll have to have a little look later. But what a goal it was. He Lionel Messi did. He just one man army. One man mission. Uh, and then, well, Ross Barkley scored before that one, so it was 3 1. And then Doku, I think Guardiol, I think Guardiol scored a really good goal as well. I think that was another similar to the one he scored in the Champions League against Real Madrid. What a game that was. 3 3. Oh, we will bring you more Champions League content. I think next season, we, uh, we've finally got the studio up and running. And once we get the New setup, and the new system on. Jackson's away again. I know it was Caicedo. Caicedo just got absolutely dragged down and advantage was played and brought back for the free kick. Referees are being very fair to Chelsea lately. We are enjoying this. I've jinxed it, but... Cucurella's moaning that I think it's his second, third time, but it's the 16th minute, so I think everyone can relax. Caicedo's been... Yeah, he's been dragged down by his arm. Mudrick's then, yeah, got a really bad touch on him, but advantage played, advantage given. What's next? So lining up. Palmer. Gallagher. This got to be Palmer whipping in with the left, surely. Put the pace on the ball. And then a little diver. Chalabar and... Uh, there it is. One of the Everton players. Time wasting FM. All right, there we go. They just passed it to Caicedo short. And Everton sussed them out immediately. Why isn't Gusto screaming for this ball? Palmer's so out wide. Oh, again, more dribbling without touching the ball. Okay, they've done a little bit to Everton here. And they've just kicked it against each other. Mudrick's kept the ball. Will he keep it in play? That's Gallagher. Gallagher's kept it in. All right, on the corner corner spot. There you go. Corner spot. Corner quadrant. Casado getting wrestled. Doing really well. 
in the box. Mudrick's there. Jackson, what a save. It's another one. Yes. 2 0. It's Palmer again. Oh, wow. Scrappy, messy, but getting it done 70 minutes in, 2 0. What a game we have on. Incredibly. Pickford furious with Tarkovsky. Don't know what's going on there. Oh, what an absolute. Just. What is going on? Like. What a game so far. Gallagher keeps it on the quadrant. On the right side. Passes out. Cucurella wants. Caicedo. Caicedo sort of gets wrestled off the ball, but then gets it back. Played at the box. Mudrick's on. He's on side. Dinks it to Jackson. Jackson. Pickford saves it. Follow up. Who is sleeping on Palmer? Who is sleeping on Palmer? Yeah, he's following him, following him, following him. Didn't bother. Oh, he stopped, he stopped following him. <laughs> It was one of the midfielders, so there's no way he could have accounted for this. Great save from Pickford. Parries it to the floor. Palmer's there just to nod it in. Right place, right time. Cole Palmer. He's cold with it. He's cold with it. What a game. Already 2-0. 11 goals, 2 assists in his last 7 Premier League games. I'm hearing it. You guys can't, but I can hear this. And yeah, getting the stats for you live. Commentary box. Stanford Bridge. Kerry is going to be loving life at the moment. Oh, Kaiseido has managed to get it out of him again. Jackson's being naughty with it. Since he's had his little stripe put in his hair, he's doing everybody. Formation's perfect for... Oh, another nutmeg. Straight through Beto. Oh, Decore, rather. I need to zoom in on these cameras. Palmer's knocked it out for a throw-in with a bad touch, but that can be forgiven because he's just got two goals. And it's on for a hat-trick. Sean Dyche has not figured this out. They're zooming in on his big old red face. Okay. Forest 2, Wolves 2. Didn't see that game. So that'll be an interesting one to see how that went. Let's see who scored first. Oh, E5. So it was 1-1. One, oh, one, one. And then 2-1 Forest. And, oh, sorry. Forest bottled it. That's fair to see. Man United definitely bottled their game. Bournemouth should have <laughs> put them to sleep. But uh, we don't mind draws. Chelsea need to get their win so we can creep up the table. But uh, everyone keeps drawing. That's absolutely fine. Who else drew? Nobody else drew. I need to refresh this page because uh, it's 2-0 Chelsea, thanks. And that is that. So oh, Burnley Brighton drew as well. So happy for Brighton to keep drawing. That's fine. Vincent Company will be happy he got some points. Uh, what does the bottom of the table look like now? Predictions-wise. Nottingham Forest, 17th. Still got them going down. I don't think they're going to make it. Luton, 18th. 19th, Burnley. 20, Sheffield. Uh, Burnley probably don't have anything left in the tank. Everton are busting up, though. Bit of possession on the left. That's bounced off of Malo Gusto for out. So good defence. Good lad. And then Man City taking the top spot because Arsenal and Liverpool bottled it. Well, they didn't. They just had a bad... Liverpool just had a bad week. I think everyone's just tired. They lost to the, in the Champions League 3-0 at Anfield, and now they've lost 1-0 to Crystal Palace. Did not see who, who scored that. Eze. Oh, well, he's just the GOAT for Palace, isn't he? What have they titled that as? It's going to be Eze shock Anfield again, isn't it? Fulham 2, West Ham 0. West Ham just... They're random, aren't they? The team is just weird. Like They'll be... Beating some teams, getting battered by some other. They shouldn't be getting. They shouldn't be losing to Fulham. That's a London derby as well. Oh, Chelsea Everton two 0 looks good. Wouldn't mind it finishing that way. Let's have a little more though. We've got Madueke and Beto having a little fight. Well, little handbags. Pistols at dawn for the pair of them. Refs on them. Uh, Arsenal nil, Villa two. I think these were late goals. Yeah, they were. 84 minutes, Bailey and Watkins. What a duo those two are. That's like Kane and Son vibes. Bailey is world class. And Watkins is just coming into his own. Everton playing deep. That's going to go out for a goal kick. Coleman could not keep up. That's not his fault. It is what it is. Big heavy pass. The stats like 18 shots, 4 on target. Arsenal. Heavy. Uh, yeah, that looked like... Maybe against the floor play. I need to see the game and watch it just to be able to establish.
All right, well, Chelsea playing this really deep back four. <laughs> and it looks like Silva's going to take the ball. Yeah, he's going to pass it to Chalabar along the six-yard line, out to Gusto wide, back to Chalabar, who's going to ping it long after Everton have all moved forward. Nobody where he passed it to. Not sure what that Tekkers is. It's working because it's drawing Everton forward, but it's just high risk, so high risk. Right, so 2 0 already. Will I be changing my prediction? I will not. I think Mudrick might get a goal. But Everton will keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. If Poch makes bad subs again, then uh, we might concede one. We better not concede two. Uh, we definitely need to score another one. So let's get some more on the score sheet. I can't. What's he doing for any of those? Gusto on the far right here. Driving in. No one pressing him. Palmer's there. He's dinked it through. Pickford's out on the penalty spot to pick him up. And Everton are slow. They are lackluster. They're not running. They're not doing anything. He's just... Looks like he's just put the ball out of the box in his hand. No, no options. He's had to roll it to Tarkovsky when he wanted to side volley up the pitch. Oh, Mudrik, where's your touch? Intercepted the pass, but managed to still lose it without touching it. Pickford scuffs it. Oh, what a touch. Mikolenko. Oh, Gallagher, you absolute animal. Getting fouled, but keeping the ball. <laughs> Gallagher doing the most again, as always. <laughs> Free kick for us on the right-hand side, about 30 yards from the touchline. Gallagher, Gusto, playing back. Chalabar, Petrovic, back to Pickford. What else do we have? Don't need that. Everton throwing bang on the halfway line on the right hand side. They're playing it back as well. I think they're going to try and take, well, I mean, they should try and take a bit more control of this game, but so far, a lot of the 50 50 is coming our way. Like, we're being, this is very lucky football, or just something's starting to click for Poch. Because Everton, I mean, they are, you know, a relegatable side. We normally struggle against teams this low down on the table, but. We've dominated them thus far. Let's carry it on. Caicedo. Big ping forward. Trying to find Palmer. Branthwaite never letting that happen. Oh, Caicedo's nicked it back again. Jackson in the middle. He's going to take a strike from... Oh! That did look close. Pickford didn't even move for it. So, I mean, maybe it's just the angle. But let's see how far away it was. We've got the behind-the-camera view. Jackson sees it. Yeah, it was curling away all the whole time. About four yards away. Sausage. Huh. As far as title races goes now, though, now it gets real interesting because there are, what, five games left this season, Premier League-wise? And, yeah, it's not looking good for Arsenal and Liverpool now because they both... Had the same bad, really bad luck. Bro, oh, they really just punished it. Arsenal, Liverpool and Man City all in the same amount of games. Arsenal and Man City are now tied for matches one. And Man City have two extra draws. They're just not looking like losing at any point. Who else have they got left? So Man City will play Real Madrid. Second leg, Champions League. Then they play us in the semi-final of the FA Cup. I think they'll, they might relax on the FA Cup. Oh, Everton are actually pressing in. Yeah, first yellow card for Everton here. Taking out Palmer from behind. Who's that? Garner. Yeah, he's come through, through the back of him. Oh, wait, he's actually got stood on by Palmer. Luckily, he didn't go into the, Palmer's, the back of Palmer's foot, but he did just trip him. First yellow. 27 minutes in, this game is so young. Oh, it's good of Chilwell to catch that on the side. And then Brighton Man City at the Amex. 
I don't see Man City losing that. Nottingham Forest, I don't see Man City losing that. Man City Wolves, don't see him losing that. Man City Fulham, Man City Tottenham, Man City West Ham. I think they win every game. You heard it first, my prediction for Man City to win the Premier League is going to come true. You definitely not heard that here first. <laughs> but uh, I don't think, unless Man City have a catastrophic failure at, at some point. Oh, Palmer's. Oh, he's gone over the top with it. Oh, it's a hat trick. Unbelievable. Pickford's given the ball away and he got lobbed from 35, 38, 40 yards. Incredible. 3 0 Chelsea. Hat trick hero. What did I say? What did I say? I said I thought Mudrick was going to score, not him. So shut up, Carl. But hat trick on the cards. Oh, wow. What a game. I can't believe Kerry's there. He's, he's drinking it in. Ah. Pickford, what are you doing? Branthwaite has it in his own half, passes to Pickford. Pickford goes for a very short pass. Palmer's there and he's just scooped it. It did not bounce before the line, just got under the bar. He, oh, it's such a bad pass. Look, everyone's satisfied. Everyone's like, oh. he's, he's, he's been so lucky to scoop that in. Everyone in the crowd's like, oh. People are clapping before it's gone in. Everyone's screaming as he hits the net. Incredible. Pickford's not happy. Don't take him to the Euros. Unbelievable. He's cold with it. 3-0. Hat-trick again. 29 minutes. A 30-minute hat-trick for Chelsea at Stamford Bridge under Pochettino. Shove that in your pipe, Rory Jennings, and tell us there's something wrong with this squad. Oh, Chalabar just got run over. Gusto's there to recover. Everton are playing a very heavy press right now. Petrovic needs to get that. Mm. Everton have played that back in very well. And now uh, it's away again. Madweke has been fouled. The life of me, I don't recognise any of these Everton players from the top. <laughs> Second hat trick for Chelsea. I mean. He's cold with it. He's cold with it. Well done, sir. You can come up at half time now. Don't you dare, but no one would complain. Oh, Casado is. Uh, no foul for that. We're all over him. The back. Oh, Gusto, what are you playing at? Oh, well done, sir. <laughs> A very rare slip. Madweke's stolen it. Armour's on the right with him. Madweke's doing far too much. Get rid. He slipped in as well. Mikalenko just bundling everyone. Outrageous. Kerry's in the chat. He's in the chat. <laughs> you must be buzzing, sir. Dirty Evertonians. You can't say that. That's just rude. Ping. What a game so far. Palmer's pocket's been picked, but let's face it, the man can do no wrong now. He gets a match ball. Second one this season. Cementing his position. Certainly in the Chelsea squad. If not, it has to be in the England squad. It has to go. It has to start. Right wing. Do you take Saka? Do you take Palmer? The right wing. You never know. What's Southgate going to do? Do you take Pickford? <laughs> He's having a bad game. He's having a bad day. All right, can I say, oh, can I say though, he's naughty with it. We just seem to be clicking. Everything about Chelsea right now seems to be clicking. I'm going to be jinxing them like nuts. But I don't think my prediction is going to come to fruition now. I think there's a little bit more in this game. 30 minutes in, 3 0. Outrage. Could be a whitewash. Hopefully, Everton just sort of crumble a little bit more. I don't want their like Premier League hopes and dreams to go down the drain. Where are they at the moment? The Premier League table here. Okay, sixteenth. I'm not under really any stress. Twenty seventh. They're two points above the relegation zone, so really they should start swaying. How many? What games have they got coming up now? 
But Everton next have Nottingham Forest. That's going to be a really good game. Everton win that. They are well clear. That is who is directly underneath them. So that is a really good game for them. Then Liverpool, Merseyside Dob. I don't think that's going to be a good day for Everton because Liverpool are wounded at the moment. Gusto pressing heavy. Everton pushed up to the corner flag. McNeil's there and it's away. Chalabas just straight up in the air. Mudrick's there with it. He's gone. Oh, he's been tripped. Yeah. What's going on there? I think it's a head injury. Is that Onana? Yeah, it's Onana. Onana's down. I think there's been a clash of heads. About 30 yards out from our goal line. But it's not a foul for us. Mudrick's away with it. Oh, he's he's been elbowed in the face. Yeah. Yeah, Onana's... Oh, that is a that is a strong arm bar straight to the face. And then he gets thrown on the floor by Mudrick. Mudrick gets dashed on the floor. He did take that quite badly to the mush. So Everton, Nottingham Forest. I think Everton will win that, which puts them four points clear of relegation. Because Nottingham Forest will be sweating. Everton, Liverpool. Liverpool are going to pancake you. I don't think there's anyone any doubt of that. Sheffield United. If Everton don't beat Sheffield United by like five goals and give me something to blame Ahmed Hodzic or Fodringham with, I'll be fuming. And then Arsenal, Everton. Everton going to get clapped. Arsenal will be on a mission right now. And I think... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's it. I think they get six more points. Puts them... I think, I think safe. I think if they finish on 33, I don't think they go down. I don't think Luton, Burnley or Sheffield will get 33 points. What's Forrest's uh, fate look like? Now we're this close. I think they lose to Everton. They definitely get clapped by Man City. Sheffield United on Forrest... Oh, he's offside. Ah, oh. Everton just nick a goal, crossed in, straight on the forehead of Beto. Pedrovic can get nowhere near it, not his fault. But he is he's so far offside. Why is he's like four yards offside? Where's he playing at? So offside. <laughs> that would have been my prediction 3 1. But solid offside trap, solid defensive line. Thiago Silva running the show. No complaints. Tight defensive line. Very impressed. Very happy. Oh, Caicedo's nicked it again. Palmer is just playing with them at this point. Madwake drawing the foul but not going down. Just dancing. They're just playing with him now. It's, it's borderline disrespect. Gap. Oh, that's naughty. Who's that? Anana, oh, no, no, another book in. Yeah. Get straight. Oh, it's young. Ashley Young, get in the book. Eight, 18. Screen's very small. <laughs> he knew what he did there as well. He had to slow him down. Something has happened at Cobham Training Centre where Chelsea train and... There's something in the Kool-Aid there because everything is just working silky smooth. We are in the flow, in the rhythm. Palmer's impressed. Pushed in the back, but never mind. That is heavy pace. I don't think Beto's going to... Nah, Beto's been dispossessed. Ah, oh, Chelsea's ball as well. Chalab as well happy. He's been recognised. Let's go. Palmer hat-trick. Yep, yeah, Kerry not wrong. Heavy hat-trick. Heavy hat-trick. We like this. Okay, Sheffield United, Forest should get three points there. Then Nottingham, Chelsea. We beat you. And then Burnley, Forest. Oh, Burnley, Forest. At Burnley, last game. I think Burnley will want to go out on fire. Because they're definitely going down. But, will it be enough to save Nottingham, Forest? Because it depends on Luton's next run. So, I think, let's call that a draw. I don't think Burnley could buy a win at the moment. So let's go, Forrest get four more points, which put them on 30. Luton Town only need five. It's a goal difference. Okay, they need six points to stay up. 
There is a eight goal difference. Caicedo on the ball. Big strike, and he's just laced it. I think we're just getting naughty with it now. We're getting cocky. So Caicedo queued that up. Everton are just opening up to us whenever we ask them to. Naughty heel flick from Palmer. Jackson on the turn. Jackson kept. Very lucky on the bounce. I think this is, this, the defensive quality is just not there from Everton today. Pickford playing with it again at the back. Dargo Silva, way, way up the pitch. Was he on side? Jackson's, Jackson's there. Oh, I don't think that's a pen. Nah, he's, he's going to rule that out. Jackson's been pulled back in the box, but heavy, heavy touch. Never get into it before Pickford scooped it up. He's on side. Jackson, oh, he plays it around Branthwaite like he's in secondary school. Does get tripped, I suppose. Yeah, it's not it's not inside the box anyway, so it's never a pen. The AR can do nothing. Plus the heavy, heavy touch. Jackson's being really good to, as like a rebound wall at the moment. Pass two, the one two from him. Oh, that's long over. Oh no, no, what are you playing at? Everton really disjointed. Really no chemistry right now at all. So Luton Town need what? Luton Town need six points. Just two wins. That's all they need. Who have they got? Brentford next. Oh, they could. Luton could. Let's call it a draw. I think Luton could beat them. Especially if Ross Barkley's absolutely fine and they get Adebayo back on. But Carlton Morris is on fire at the moment as well. So I think Luton might, they might even win that. But I'm going to put it as a draw. So there's one point there. Wolves, I think they get clapped. Luton Everton. Everton better be Luton. They need to. But I think Luton will beat Everton. Yeah, it's, it's a foul for a... A foul from Mudrick. On Everton now. Another yellow card. Chelsea yellow card now. Three yellow cards, 40 minutes in. Big. Is it worth a yellow card? Does he come for him? Oh, yeah. He's, oh, stud break down the back of the leg. That's rough. Yeah, he can't do that. West Ham Luton. West Ham, um, West Ham, Luton, and then Luton, Fulham. Three winnable games for Luton. I think it's theirs. It's theirs to take. Do I think they stay up? You know what I do? I think Luton stay up. I'm going to say now, I'm going to stick to my thing. The Forest go down. I said Luton go down, but originally. But I'm going to swap that. Obviously, Burnley are going to go down. And... That is a big ball over the top. Palmer's played it in. Oh, right across the face of goal. Beto's not there to put it in. Tarkovsky's claiming his shirt's being togged. Like, togged. Like, togged. So, the referee's saying, nah, nah, nah. VAR will check. Let's see. Palmer got his handful of his... I mean, oh, he's... He's still got the cross across, across, but that doesn't really make any difference. Great cross ball. Oh, I think Chalabar's very lucky he didn't own goal that. And then the corner coming in, Petrovic's dealt with easy. <laughs> they put, try to put it. They try to put it straight in the in the net. Yeah, they try to put it in the net from the corner. Petrovic's there. Just tap it over the bar. Good lad. Branthwaite is just massive. Gusto is barely up to his chin. Yeah, and they're going to get told off again. Their, their, their aerial prowess is just so dangerously apparent. It is like wrestling in there. It's just bundling. The referee is right on top of it as well. It's still on the six-yard line. I what they're playing at. Right, okay, I think Luton stay up. I think Forrest go down. I think Burnley go down. And I think Sheffield United go down. I think everyone knows Burnley and Sheffield United going down. But Forest for me. I think Everton stay up, Luton stay up, Forest go in. It's got to be Forest. Bye. So, I think Conor Gallagher. Are they thinking Everton are being naughty? Anana's grabbing his throat. Yeah, it's very risky. Right over the top. 
Cleared out. Caicedo's there. Mudrik with the afterburners. And it's played out. Which way? Oh, Chelsea's throw. I think Everton are just asleep. Ucarella, left wing. Left touch line. Throw it in. Taking half an hour to do it. Straight to Gallagher. Who boots it against Cucurella. Gives it straight back to Everton. Everton possessing well at the moment. Oh, beautifully played in. Gusto, what have you got? It's just got enough to put Beto off. Petrovic collects. Straight at him. Easy. All right, it's only fair I think we look at Forrest. Incorrect. I think it's only fair we look at Burnley. Because... I mean, what do they need to stay up? They've got five games left. And in order to stay up, I think 18th position is decided if you've got more than 28. If you've got more than 30. If you hit 30, I think you stay up. Which is very low. Has that stayed in? Ucarella, well done, sir. Big whip. Madwak is... Jackson, turn. Oh, 4-0. Incredible, Jackson. Well done. Oh, my word. Chelsea are running away with it. 4-0, 44 minutes in. It's a goal every 10 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. A goal every 11 minutes. Let's do the maths. Oh. It is goals galore this weekend. Premier League match week 33. Incredible. He has taken this ball down. Turn. Full leg swing out. Hip height. Punished. Mm. Chef kiss. Ucarella's on side because of Branthwaite. Lazy boy. Big turn in. He's brought it down with his left. Finished with his right on the turn. He's turned 270 degrees, ladies and gentlemen. It dink down back. Posting in. Is it jam? Is it pure skit? Oh. Un Unbelievable. Tarkovsky, ball watching, ball watching, ball watching. Yeah. Tarkovsky, what are you doing? What have you done? 4 0. <laughs> Is there a fire drill? Is there a fire drill? Is there a fire drill? Everton are leaving. It's half time. In five minutes. <laughs> five minutes at a time at the end of the first half. 4 0, Chelsea. Pochettino, do not touch this squad. When they start getting tired, maybe replace them. But do not bring on Cassidy. Up oh, there it goes. Petrovic gets that away. Better chasing. Everton's still playing for it, though. Right. At this point, it has to be damage control, surely. For oh, they're just... The whole of Samba Bridge is mugging off Pickford now. Conceding four in the first half. Madweke not even looking at the ball at this point. What position to be in? What time to be alive? <laughs> Gusto blazing out far. No one there. Compose Chelsea FC. Ping. Big header back in. Ucarella again. On the ball, on time. They got time with it. Yeah, moving the ball around beautifully. Something's working. Madweke is just... Every touch is perfect. We're on the break again. Palmer on the right side. Branthwaite on his tail. His confidence must be on the floor right now. Controlling the possession. I would not even want to see what the stats are like. What are the stats like? Let's move this. We're going to look at Burnley in a second, I promise. But I'm just going to I actually need to see what. What are we playing at? Let's have a look at these statistics. Okay, possession, 63-37. Okay, at this point, 4-0, oh, no, wow. Three foul, one yellow card for us, two for them. No reds. Three offsides for them, none for us. Actually, staying on side, Jackson. Bravo, sir. And uh, corners, four for them, one for us. No goals off corners. Uh, <laughs> the chance, the, li the live win probability for Chelsea, 99.6%. Everton, 0.1%. That's one in a thousand. That's rough. Huh. And uh, draw three in a thousand. But yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, we could... Oh, well. We're playing... Jackson's doing really well. He's 
either finally clocking in or he's just having this game of his life. What's that? I don't know, just... What position to be in? What do you even do as a manager at that point? 4-0 down. Search your feelings, isn't it? Like, you just got to be like, oh, sorry. I don't even know what to say. Or nil. I'm on you, Blues. Well, I think it's safe to say we're going to get three points from this one, but it will not progress us up the table. Because right now we chase West Ham by a one point. Same amount of wins, assuming this goes through. Ashley Young having a go on the right hand side, bounces through off Cucurella. Oh, Madrid got sold it. It's been whipped in. Yeah, it's too low. Chalabar's there. Very good defensive showing. Absolutely blocking Everton out. Fully screened. Is that McNeil going up for the corner? Seven? Let's have a look see. Yeah, McNeil. Look at that, I'm learning. Madweke fully leaning on Beto. <laughs> More wrestling. Cucurella's fighting. Oh, unlucky. Header from Anana is wide. Thank you, commentator. Commentary team. Saw a video the other day of Gary Neville, Jamie Carragher, in the commentary box. And they have their mic. Obviously, I know it's so loud, so they've got to have their microphone set, but they literally. Like right in their gob. Like an inch away from their mouth. No, 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 I don't have to do that. It's just right on the tash. Do you want to be all right? He can rest it on his three hairs that he has. Uh, 15 seconds away, I think. After this kick, it'll be half time. And no idea what either manager's going to say. But come on, he's got to blow this whistle, surely. Yep, there you go. Half time, 4 0 Chelsea. Wow. 45 minutes of. Prowess. He's not even smiling. He's cold with it. Now he's smiling. There you go. Right. Oh, well, my prediction's out of the water, so probably need to, um, I don't know, rethink. Let's, uh, I'm going to call 6-1. I think we concede. I don't think Everton go down without a fight, and I think they will just scrape their way to a goal. Of some kind, um, whether it's a pen, whether it's an own goal, something like that. They're just going to keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. I think they get one. I mean, worst case, maybe they get two, but they're definitely not going to get four. So let's just let's just let's call it as we see it. It's a it's a whitewash. Chelsea are going to come out in the second half. He's probably going to make a change. Get somebody else on now. Who would I say? Who's on the bench for us? Little look, see. We've got Badia Shill. He might come on. Chilwell, maybe. Might just might he might even rest. I think it'd be smart to rest him. I'd get Gilchrist on later in the day. Swap him out of Kook. He doesn't mind being on the right or the left, does he? So swap him out of Cucurella. And then maybe Bene Achille will come on for Silver. Silver won't need to play the rest of this game out. And then maybe it might be time to get Washington. Another cat. Another cat cat. Another match. Another game play. And I think Chooks comes on. So if we've got... Yeah, that's four. I mean, that's as much as you're going to do. I don't think you need to bring anyone else on. Err, what on earth? Does, I mean... Harrison needs to come on for Everton, I think. Harris, Jack Harrison's really good for them. Uh, maybe Andre Gomez. But... Oh, no, Godfrey. Godfrey should come on. But other than that, I don't think... I don't think anything's going to save them. I think they know that already. I think they already know that. They're doomed. They're finished. Oh. That's some very bizarre adverts on at the moment. But let's get back to Burnley because let's see who I think. I think 30 points, you stay up. Let's go by that logic. 30, 31 for Burnley, I think, because Luton are definitely going to get some points. Forest, I'm pretty sure, are going to finish on 29. Let's double check my maths on that. 
they're going to get four points. No, 30. So it needs to be 30. Burnley have got a minus 35. Yeah, so there has to be points. There's no way they're going to make up 19 goal difference. So let's see who they got. First up, Sheffield United. Now, if Burnley don't beat Sheffield United, that's it. That's just it for them. Uh, they'll accept their fate, start going on holiday. How many points are they on? 20. Burnley are on 20 points. Hmm. Nope. Sheffield United. Let's say they win. 23 points. Man United, Burnley. Man United will be desperate to stay in Europe because they know nothing else. Uh, they're not getting Champions League. So, yeah. Uh oh. Burnley, Newcastle. Another loss. Burnley, Tottenham. Burnley going down. Burnley, Nottingham Forest. Which I said was a draw earlier. So, yeah. Burnley are definitely going down. Sheffield United are definitely going down. And for me, Forest. Forest going down. How about that's the three. Now, what do I have? I'll actually call Kerry. I'm going to call him, put him on thing. But I can't because ah, my phone is the camera. So, uh, can't call him. Let me see what else I can do on her. So, I can FaceTime him. Can't FaceTime him because he uses an Android. Let's try something else. Might be able to do this, might not be able to do this. Right, they're playing some jives in the background that hopefully you can't hear because we don't want to get copyright strike on. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit just in case. Mm -hmm. Nope, can't do that either. So, no WhatsApp calling. I'll do that. So, there'll be no carry conversation. Apparently, this uh, this game beat some housekeeping. Then, in the meantime, let's get rid of all these. Empty that. Goodbye. And then I'll put together the what's he doing? What's he doing? After this game tonight, that'll be out tomorrow. But uh, they're just running to run through the chances. Deli Alley. Interesting. On the first goal, Gusto plays it back. Chalabar, Caicedo, excellent link up play. Gusto's then pinging down the right hand side, thinking he's Reese James. Madweke on the overlap. But Palmer's received the ball. Nutmeg Branthwaite, he's been given back to him. It's back healed. It's back to Palmer. It's one touch and it is it. Oh my God. Cool, Palmer. X Factor. So easy. He's cold with it. He's cold, Palmer with it. First touch, left foot. He... What a beautiful setup. Second goal, 18 minutes. Gallagher out from the corner. Cucurella, we've done, we've been here before. Caicedo, lucky to get the ball back. Nicks it. Mudrick, digs it back. Jackson, oh, back out by Pickford, but couldn't keep Palmer away. Cheeky header. It's just a follow-up. It's just a great strike. It's, it's just, he's just trying to be a striker. Look at, boop, and head. Perfect control. Right place, right time. Good pace on the ball. Pickford off block. Can do nothing about it. My boy's done. They're going to be partying like it's 1964 at Stanford Bridge right now. Like it's 2012. We just won the Champions League. What a sausage, man. And Palmer, lucky with it. Just curled in. Jackson. Playing really well at the moment. Down on the left. Smashes with the right. Just... What scenes? Perfect touch. Great bounce. Tarkovsky. 
Oh. Doing nothing more with it. Sausage. All right. Let's go to the top of the table now and see who I think we are going to Let's see who I think is going to finish top four. We've got a video ready for Premier League predictions, but it was a couple of weeks ago, and now I think it'd just be completely redundant. <laughs> so we're going to have to do it again. The, uh, let's go to the top of the table. Man City, Arsenal, Liverpool, Villa, Tottenham, Newcastle, Man United, and then we'll stop there because that's the European spots. I think that's the one that everyone's interested in most. Now, there are a lot of teams that have got more than five games left. Villa have only got five games left, but Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City, Tottenham, Manchester United, and Newcastle have all got six games left. So those points are going to fly up. The chasm between those who have and those who haven't will leap. We actually have seven games left after this one. Interesting. Must have had, obviously, one was postponed. So we will have an extra game, an extra two games after this one. We've got an extra two games in hand over West Ham in eighth and one game in hand over Man United. And if those two games go well, we will jump them because it's it, irrelevant of Man United because we are on 47 now, Man United are on 50. So we may even see Chelsea sneak into a European spot. But let's stay focused right now, the title race. Man City, I don't think they lose another game. Like we said, I think they take the league. I think Sean was right. I think I was right. So Sean said Manchester United, actually, so ignore that. I think um, Man City winning. My original prediction was Man City. His original prediction was Man United. Not a very difficult decision, is it, really? Like, come on, let's, let's, let's call it that. It's uh, Arsenal-Liverpool, though, what a shame. That was a tight race up until they fumbled it. They'd have, they, it all three teams would have had to have kept pace with with each other for it to have been like a really interesting like historical title race like last year was like to the wire between two but to be between three teams that's special but they both bit it on the same week match week it's so unfortunate for them and against Palace as well like what happened I didn't see the game I haven't seen the highlights yet I'm just gonna have to have a look I might even watch the whole game because Liverpool, what, what happened? Just fell apart for the, the last two games they played. Champions League and Premier League. And Arsenal, fair enough, Arsenal had really tight opponents. Like Aston Villa looked like a Champions League side this year. So I think they might have more of an excuse. Liverpool getting beat by Crystal Palace is just embarrassing. 1-0 as well. Like They could have salvaged anything. Even if they'd got one point and, and managed to draw with Palace... It would have been all right. It would have saved them because it would have then been 73 Man City, 72 Liverpool, 71 Arsenal. And then it would have put the pressure on Man City. Man City now have to lose, not just draw, but lose a game in order for Arsenal or Liverpool to then have to win every single game to beat them. A draw won't do. So Arsenal and Liverpool now have to win every single game. So... As far as I'm concerned, Man City can't lose because they're not playing big, big, any big sides. Who have they, who have they got? They've got Wolves, Fulham, Tottenham, West Ham, and Nottingham Forest. They're going to walk through those. Uh, they've got Chelsea, but not in the Premier League. Uh, they've got Real Madrid, that's Champions League. Quarter-final leg. They'll, they're going to walk through this. Oh, but Chelsea and Man City have actually... There is another game, Chelsea-Man City, which is to be decided. Third of August, wow. That can't, can't be right. That's not in the Premier League thing. That's probably just been dated there for no reason. So, we got left. Six? Yeah, Man City have six games left. They've played 32. So let's have another look. So they've got Brighton, Forest, Wolves, Fulham, Tottenham, West Ham. So that's their six. But they haven't got Chelsea in the Premier League again. They've then got Sid, Celtic, Milan, Barcelona as like little play like little you know mess around games and the Champions League so let's see what they do there but I think they take the Premier League I don't think they lose they certainly don't lose to Brighton they might draw that game they have a bad day 20th 25th they'll have had five days between Man City Chelsea and then Man City Brighton so 
I think they'll be fine. I think they'll be more tired for the semi semi final FA Cup. There's only three days between Man City, Real Madrid, and then playing us at Chelsea. Uh, but that's at the Etihad, so we will see. We might actually pip them to that one, which they won't care about um, as much as the Premier League or the Champions League. So, but they might be they might be over the triple again. Imagine they triple two days two two years in a row. Imagine, It'd be incredible. Odds on. <laughs> well, I don't think they lose to Brian. They might draw, but I think I think they'll probably clap Brian. Brian have not been playing too great. What was their last? Brian's last result. Brian 10th. They won one in their last five, lost two in their last five, drawn two in their last five. Let's see what their matches were like. They lost 3-0 to Arsenal on Saturday, the 6th of April. They drew with Burnley. Drew with Brentford. Lost to Liverpool. They beat Forest. They lost to Fulham. Yeah, they've they drew to Evan. They they are in a really bad run. So Nancy are gonna walk through them. That's a win. Forest they beat. Wolves. Wolves might be tight. And that's the fourth to last. Tottenham might be a tight game. But let's see who Arsenal and Liverpool have got left because they need just as easy. Can't have any top six sides. Because Man City don't. No, not a single top six. Current top six. So got Arsenal. So six games left? Six games left. Arsenal. Who have they got? Bayern in the Champions League. Let's see how they do against Bayern. Uh, Wolves Arsenal. All in you. All in you. Wolves, maybe. And Arsenal Chelsea. I'd like to think we keep them to a draw. If not beat them. Especially on this form. But it is Evan. Uh, Wolves, I think Arsenal beat them. Arsenal Chelsea will be a, a more interesting side. They've also then got Tottenham, and they've got Man United, and they've got Liverpool. Wait, no, that can't be right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no, so they don't have Liverpool, but they have they have Tottenham, Chelsea, and Manchester United. Interesting. They need to turn up. They can't beat. Aston Villa. I'd like to think Chelsea could take it to them at the. That is at the Emirates, though. So mm. we'll have to see. What was the last result between us like? Arsenal favourites at the moment. Have a little look. Where are we? Not back yet from for the second half on Chelsea Everton just yet. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find it, but I cannot find it. Up oh, kick off. Everton have kicked off now playing left to right, so all of the goals are now going the other end. From where Kerry lives. Oh, they've done really well so far. Everton right on the 18-yard line. And it's been nicked away from him last minute. Oh, Gallagher's... Oh, I mean, Ashley Young's thrown a leg in there but, and fouled Gallagher. But, I mean, they look like he got the ball to me. So, dip, 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 dip. On Wolves, Luton, Villa. Liverpool, Fulham. Alice... Where are they? Can't see if we had. Okay. October 2022, 2023, sorry, uh, Chelsea drew with Arsenal 2-2. So let's assume we hold them to that again because Arsenal are dipping slightly and clearly we're hopefully finding some naughty little form. Uh, let's hold them to a draw. I don't think they're in it then. I think they may have finished the third. Depends on Liverpool. If they absolutely drop off, then we'll see, but I don't think. 
there'll be enough in it for them after that. I think if we did hold them to the draw in the next game, I think all their heads would just drop because they know City's just going to run away with it. Uh, well, not next game, the, after the Wolves game. I've been keeping possession a little bit better now. I've got them in my peripheral. Hopefully they've changed to loads, but I didn't see any subs or anything like that. Oh, Gusto's giving it back to Everton on the left, on the right-hand side, our right-hand side. This touchline play, well, the way they can pass it exactly dead straight down that line, even under that pressure. Very nice. That's Everton. Ranthwaite, Tarkovsky, Ranthwaite again. Hope they did a little bit of practice in the change room at half-time to get their accuracy up, because... Those silly little mistakes they were making outside of the boot pass. He's going to try it. Oh, Beto's trying to say he got dragged down by Chalabar, but ref's never given that. Gallagher right in the middle at 25 yards away. Bucarella. Silver's calm with it. Gallagher on the turn. Yeah, kept in possession. Everton try and close in. It gives them so much gaps on the side, and all we've got to do is get that ball out and then... We've got them on the t on the take, so we've played it back to our own thing now. Just keeping possession now. I think they'd, we'd, uh, it's more than likely Pochettino's gone, all right, let's just hold the ball up, take ages with it, make them desperate, make them run towards us, and if we've got to nick them for another goal, that's just speculation. I'll speak to that. Uh, Arsenal-Chelsea, I think, yeah, this is 1-1. Wolves, I think Arsenal beat. Tottenham-Arsenal. Imagine if Tottenham nick, a, nick the points of them and Tottenham gets a ruin there. I think that would be it. I think if they don't beat Tottenham, Tottenham will take it as though they have ruined their season. And if you ask any Tottenham fan what team season they would like to ruin the most, it would be Arsenal. So that would be cruel, cruel irony for uh, all the Arsenal fans. They would go home crying if they didn't win. But that being said, they've just got... Battered by Newcastle, uh, Tottenham. So they're going to have to recover, but that's not for a while. That's, that's two more weeks. Oh, Madrid, what are you playing at, man? Madrid is a liability for us at the moment. But if they're going to shoot like that, Gomez. Oh, you did bring Gomez on, like I said. Ha ha. Brought Andre Gomez on at half time. But, uh, well, he needs to warm up into it first. He's, oh, it's actually deflected off Chalabar. So that's corner. He was drilling that, hopefully, hoping to go through some legs. But nope. Arsenal Bournemouth, they win that. Arsenal Man U, I think Arsenal win that. And Arsenal Everton, I think. So, Arsenal haven't got it. In my opinion. Again, another wider. Branthwaite, almost on his redemption arc. Not quite, though. Gusto had no chance of beating him in the air, though. I don't know why he's responsible for marking a man a foot taller than him. Madweke, oh, tricky feet. Played it back. That's fine. They are doing two-man coverage on Madweke at all times now, Everton. Oh, he's just got... What are you playing at? Of course that's a foul. Just swiped his leg. Patterson, what are you playing at? Okay, now Liverpool. How dare they lose to Crystal Palace 1 0? Ruining their own season. They have Fulham, which they should win. Everton, which they should win. West Ham, which they should win. Yeah, Everton are just being a bit sneaky, being a bit squeaky at the back. That's a great pass. Gomez just doing the most for everybody. Ashley Young, good touch. Overlaps on. Overlaps on. Not going to use him. Useless. Everton making all the wrong decisions. So Nana. Playing a huge out wide to Patterson. Oh, Ashley Young's just got in the way of that one. Well, over the laziness. Yeah, Everton throwing about five yards away from the corner flag. Uh, Liverpool Tottenham. Every single one of the title race contendees. Contenders, 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 is uh, has has Arsenal has Tottenham to play. All of them. So Tottenham could actually decide who wins the Premier League this year. How bizarre! Tottenham will know that as well. That the, where their games sit with these top three, 
could dictate exactly who wins and lifts the Premier League trophy this year. Liverpool then have Villa, who by Christ they need to beat. They, they might not. That might be a draw. And Liverpool Wolves just send it off, sign it off. They, so everyone has, all three of them have Wolves, and all three of them have Tottenham. That's madness. Oh, well. Has Tarkovsky not been booked? Oh, he's not been booked. Okay, oh, he's a lucky boy. He just got booked for an, a reckless, tactical, but reckless foul on Jackson. Jackson's again tried with the flick to play on and then clattered his knee into both Jackson's knees. Right. But yeah, ninth yellow card this season. Raw. Uh -oh. Jackson's just about got up after his dead leg. Yeah, that was, that's a proper granddad leg there. Poor guy. <laughs> big switch from Cucurella. Not getting anywhere near where it needs to go, but big heavy touch. Outside of the boot pass from Gusto to Madweke. He's in on the right-hand side, turning Branthwaite up. Gusto's back there. He switched him in. A little dink. Oh, he's just not quite pulled it back enough. Caicedo needs. Oh, no. Yeah, Gallagher. Come on. Caicedo's on. Chalabar. Silva. Shaping up nicely. Chelsea on in, are in control. So in control of this game. Everton are just so haphazard. Silva. Looking like he was drawing it out to Cucurella. Made some space. Palm oh, Palmer's missed his header to get it to Madweke. Evan collected. Very nice. Immediately well shaped. Got lots of space on the right side for Patterson. Ashley Young with him. Is that Harrison? Jack Harrison's come on as well. They did everything I said they should. Oh, Mudrick. Heavy touch, but on the pace. Two heavy touches. He's been forgiven. Palmer in again. Oh, Pickford, what a save. One on one with Palmer. Pickford needed shush. Here we go away. Pickford desperately needed that save. Mudrick burning everyone for pace. Palmer's offside anyway. Wouldn't have counted. But Pickford, what a save! Faith restored in your goalkeeping ability to come out, make yourself big, big spread, laid down on the floor. Look, he's going to sleep. Really well done, sir. Well done. That's really good. Very impressive. You're offside, mate. You're offside. But we'll take the corner. We don't pull them back for that. Okay. Uh, I personally believe Liverpool will finish third. Now, I think Arsenal will finish second. Did we Floyd Hasselbank in the, uh, in the crowd at Stamford Bridge? Most goals at Stamford Bridge in Premier League seasons. Did we Floyd Hasselbank 15, third place. Very nice. Good stats on the screen. Palmer's filthy with it. Oh, yeah, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> They're playing all of Palmer's goals already, just re going over them. Pickford just passes it to Palmer, who scoops it. What a jammy lob. That's proper Sunday League goal, that one. <laughs> when you've got someone that should not be playing Sunday League and they should be semi pro, just joins everyone for a Sunday League game. You can't lob a keeper like that. That's just rude. Uh. Well done, senor. Branthwaite, is he coming off? Yeah, Branthwaite's done. Tired boy. Even pick for saying get off quick. Who are they bringing on? Five. Wasn't warm. Wasn't ready. Who number five is? Oh, Michael Keane's coming on. Should recognise him. Yeah, Keane's on. Brantway off. Two Englishmen swapping in. Okay, Keane, let's have a look. Some deets. Nineteen ninety-three. 30 years old, 31. 
bit of experience. Get pushed in the back, but still get the ball. That's fine. Jackson rightfully letting the referee know that he got shoved in the back to kick the ball off, but never mind. What can we complain? 4-0 up. We've had every decision. So. Oh, Silver wrestling everybody. Madrid couldn't do anything about that. Not a lot to report in this game anymore. I mean, it's now a stalemate between Everton and Chelsea for the second half. Everton to try and, like I say, like I said, they're going to try and stab at everything. But I just don't see any way. Palmer, Palmer's nicked it again. It's been nicked off of him. It is just ticky tacker football between both teams now. It's dispossessed here, intercept there. Midfield game is thick right now. Midfield's about 80 yards at the moment. Michael Keane's first touches on the ball and playing easy and safe passes. Patterson, Mudrick on the right. Oh, getting boxed in by four, but calm, collected with it. Everton with a high press, really high press. Talibar playing it easy. Easy to Thiago Silva. That's all you can hear now. The whole Stamford Bridge chanting Thiago Silva. I'm not sure who the captain is for us at the moment. Palmer's burning forward. Oh, the link up play. Gusto. Madweke. Jackson's tearing in. He's there. Pickford, what a save. Oh, and Patterson's lucky not to put it in his own net. Oh, miscommunication. Miscommunicado. It's John Wick. Beautiful overlap from Gusto. Burning, burning, burning. Looks up. Yep. Yeah, sees Jackson. Plays it early. Oh, he's just played it slightly too forward, but Pickford should have collected this. Pickford's there with it. Oh, he's tried to collect it and then cancelled, gone for the parry, and then smacked it against Patterson, who's somehow gone from right wing to the left, left back post, more near post. Palmer's played it long, shortish. Madweke, I think that's taken a nick. Yeah, it's a corner. Yeah, Tarkovsky's knocked that out for another corner. Madweke's got the bond in too. <laughs> yeah, it's just hit Nick the studs of Tarkovsky, which could have thrown it off for Pickford. But Pickford recovered. He did well. He, I think he would have had that covered. Pickford's getting wrestled on. Tysano's just stood on his left, his right boot. Jackson doing well to keep that. Oh, been touched out by Harrison. Mudrick. Oh, another corner. Chelsea pressing Everton again. Pressing them so hard. Trying to squeeze the pulp out of this orange. Poor guys. In a blueberry smoothie. Sponsored by Hublot. Ugh. I don't like Hublot. Up. Big swing, Thiago Silva. Thiago Silva. Oh, T oh, sliding in with it. Conor Gallagher's nicked it. A really late sliding challenge. Madweke's there. He's turned. Oh, pen. Penalty. Unbelievable. Five. Oh, I'm not even going to say it. In oh, it's just, it's just not right. Five nil. That's going to get reviewed, but. Incredible again. Just naughty. It's going to be reviewed. But Palmer, Palmer's got to take it. Palmer's the penalty taker. But maybe they... Who do they let take it? They're just arguing amongst themselves, Madweke and Jackson. Played in there. I mean, Palmer's been taken out. Madweke's in, dribble it in, dribble it in, dribble it in. I think, I think Tarkovsky's got the ball here. He's got a ball. I'm not sure how that's a pen. Not a Chelsea fan, but I'm not sure how that's a pen. Maybe it's for what happened on Palmer. It, uh, he has been dug in the leg there. That, that should have been it on its own, but... 
Is it getting reviewed? Hmm. What? Now Palmer and Jackson are fighting. What is going on? How embarrassing. Why are they ruining it? Pochettino, what is... Jackson's complaining. Palmer's just put the ball on the spot. He's the penalty taker. Madweke and Jackson both complaining. It's his... He takes pens. It's his job. Pens are Palmer's. That's it. There's no contest. Doesn't matter if you're 6-0 up, 4-0 down. Penalties are Palmer's. He's the one. Precisely. Why is it taking so long? I mean... It's the same rules as the corner and the goal line and all sorts. The whole ball has to be over the spot, but just any part. Yes! 5-0 Chelsea. No one's going to come up to him and give him love. They're just going to walk away. Jackson, what are you playing at, man? Doesn't matter. He's cold with it. He's cold with it. He's cold palmer with it. 5-0. And now Madweke and Jackson all screaming. Oh, they're all fuming, but they've hopefully they're going to calm down, chill out, because that's just that's embarrassing. Why are they fighting? Why are they fighting? It's a pen. It's simple. It's simple. Why are they bothering? Pickford couldn't read it. I didn't even predict which way it was going because of all the drama. Why are they fighting with it? Why are they fighting with it? They've, just, they've all gotten over it now, but it's gone in. It's gone in. They wanted to take it. 5-0 Chelsea. Weird, 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 weird. Petrovic on the ball. Everton just thrown it in now. Is this going to be our biggest win this year? This season? Let's have a little look-see. Yeah, we definitely... Favourites to win. <laughs> but um, uh, I don't know if we've had a bigger result now this year. Yeah, we beat Middlesbrough 6 1. But that's just, I just want Premier League. Oh, naughty. Someone's going. No? Oh, it's Michael Keane. Straight away, first challenge, boom. Not having it. Not happy with it. Oh, studs on the foot. Right on the top. Jackson was smooth with it as well, but yeah, he got taken clean out. He couldn't do anything about that. That's the problem now, is that Everton are just going to come out hoping to hurt some people. They're just a bit like that, which you can sort of get. But... Five nil. Pinch me. <laughs> Incredible. I don't know what to say now. It seems unfair on Everton. They must have all gone home. Can they keep clean sheets and keep Petrovic his bonus, huh? No mistakes. Ludwig, that's a mistake, sir. Oh, Chelsea have played Beto through. Oh, Beto is just slightly wide with it. He's going to be so, like, just cold and, like, squeaky because he's not had any time on the ball. He's had one touch and then just smash. That's all he gets. Every 10 minutes, he gets to touch the ball once. Can't train that. That's 
Can't just have him run around a pitch for 10 minutes, then take two touches and hope he scores. He's got to have time on the ball. Petrovic playing out to Silver at the back. Everton playing two really high press, and then everyone else just solid in defence. Definitely damage control now. 65 minutes in. 67. Gusto out on the wide right on the on the right wing. Just being let. Just giving all the space. Just running around everybody. Oh, fouled off the ball as well. Not sure who that was by. McNeil, I think. Mudrick into Jackson. Oh, Palmer's so unlucky not to get that pass through. Oh, Gallagher trying to break his own hamstring. And then back to Pet. Yeah, that's fine. Do not know what our biggest score was this season. I'm still trying to find it, but I am distracted by obviously the live stream I'm supposed to be doing. So let me just look up just the matches from this year. Be easy, wouldn't it? No, oh. Madrake fouled by. Mikalenko again. Right, Mikalenko's just fouling everybody. Getting away with it too. That's 2022. That's too far away to need August 23. It was Liverpool was the first one. Yeah, one one there. Four three three three. Duh, duh, duh. If we've scored more than five goals in any other game so far this year, 4 0 against Preston, but that doesn't count. 6 1 Middlesbrough. In the Premier League, nope. This is definitely the best performance we've pushed so far. Five goals to us, nil. Oh, we're on the break. Caicedo's on. Four, three versus three. Palmer on the right hand side. Big spread. I just tried to play it through, but not quite managed it. Everton lucky. Mikalenko there to save Everton from a sixth. Mudrick pulling that out. Oh, no, it's, yeah, no, it's Gallagher pulling that out of the air. And then Gusto getting jumped on. Is there a foul going on? Is there... <laughs> now it's a throw-in. Oh, it's a Everton throw-in. Fair enough. But what that command was from the ref. It looks just an Everton throw-in. Okay, he's got cramped 70 minutes in. Huh. Losing side never have cramped, do they? <laughs> they played advantage on a pen. Yeah, so it's where it was, Palmer's been wiped out. And that's not a pen because he's just, he's, Tarkovsky got the ball. So that's going to go to Gomez, I think. Who took him out? Oh, is it Mikalenko? Oh no, it's Decore. Naughty. You two ain't giving away pens. Huh? You get the pen? Give the pen. Give the pen. You get the fold. Nice and easy. 70 minutes in, 20 minutes left. 5 0 Chelsea. Oh. At this point. <laughs> what do you do? Who do you bring on? you got to let some of the boys come on. Oh, Madwake's just, just dived straight down. He's taken the free kick, though. Everton are going to get a man sent off. You can just, you can just tell. They definitely are. They're, they're all arguing with the ref. There's not even anything going on. It's like they're queuing up some subs. Poch, don't ruin it. We don't want to concede. We want Petrovic to get his bonus. Chooks! Chooks! I think he's trying to tell him he's fine, but he's got to come off. Madwake wanted to stay on. That's the right attitude, though. He needs a firm, like, bollocking about what he got on with. On the pen. But. It's fine. He played really well. Really well. Goal contributions. So good. 
Big, big collapse. Big stand innovation. Good man. He's coming off. Chokomeka on. Watch. You need to have a word with him, mate. You can't. You can't act like that. It's not on. You guys. You wouldn't do that at work. Just oh, got to go and talk to this customer. Let me do it and start punching each other. I know they didn't start punching each other. But you get what I'm saying. Pushing each other around like Palmer was just like, no, get off. Try to put him off. 100% record maintained. I don't think anyone's arguing like. Huh. Back to Pickford. Everyone's really winding Pickford up. Thiago Silva. Oh. Chelsea have just been so smooth. That ball has swazzed all the way out to Ashley Young on the far right. Oh, Gallagher's got spun. Patterson, not going to do anything with it. Cucurella's there. Big whip. Silver up. Petrovic, catch. Yeah. Charles play. Gusto's down. He's being picked up by Beto. <laughs> Best I just go and put him behind him, grab him like a kid, and just picked him straight up. Madrid's playing around with it. Oh, no way. What a touch from Gusto. That was silky. Some of the players today have just been otherworldly, just well out of character. We know they're, they're capable of this quality, but they don't normally... Oh, again. So silky. Jackson's still on the ball. He's a one-man army. Mudrick passes it straight to Pickford. What is this boy on? Mudrick is like your little brother, yeah? Sometimes he's incredible. Like In training, he's probably world-class. But this boy, under pressure, just makes every amateur mistake you can. Like, don't pass it to the keeper. Don't inside foot it there. He takes a touch when he shouldn't. He doesn't take a touch when he needs to. Like... Right there is near his laces or far corner if you're going to place it. Don't place it at the keeper's feet. Never aim for the middle of the goal. You're not shooting, as in with a gun. Like, no centre mass, por favor. You need to hit the limbs of the goal. Ah, oh, Silver's dealt with that. Big header, 30 yards away it goes. Oh, Patterson's tried to dink it through Cucurella. Couldn't do it, couldn't do it. What a game to have gone to. I could have had tickets for this as well. I, had, I wanted to stream it for you guys. I feel like I'm there, so it's fine. <laughs> Madness. Madness. So we've established Man City have won the Premier League. We've established Nottingham Forest are going to get relegated. We've established Everton are going to stay up. Mm. Petrovic's not had any reason to be worried this game. We've established Pickford should probably not start for England and Ramsdale should probably start instead. Hopefully get some more games time, game time. Who played in goal against Villa? Is it Raya? It was Raya. Maybe, I'm not sure if he was at fault for anything, but maybe he uh, he needs some sort of Game time for Ramsdale. Maybe a little break for Raya. Right, Everton doing... They're coming forward. Gomez on the ball, on the left. Mikalenko's on. They're just playing with it, really, like a team that's not 5-0 down. They're trying to work something. It's a cheeky little dink, but Gusto just stood there, stone. I say those... Played out of his skin today. No Enzo Fernandez, but he's not been missed. That is so nice to say. The fact that we've got Nkunku waiting in the wings, we've got Lavia at some point coming in, and we've got Reese James, and we've got Chilwell, and for this version of this team to actually turn up the way they've turned up. That's it's like a baby version of Man City. A baby version where no one's actually world class, but apart from Fernandez. But with Fernandez on there. And in Cuckoo, and they're both fighting fit and ready to roll. I mean, what a game this could have been. But what a game it is. 5 0. Everton busting through. Michelengo with a shot deflected. And looks like corner ball for Everton. 
Only 15 minutes left of this game. Plus injury time. And honestly, just feels feels bizarre the worldly. <laughs> Such a scoreline. Everton, with all the space in the world, Palmer out. Gomez given all the space to chip it in, and Beto can do nothing. Overhead kick coming in. Just nothing. I don't know why they're trying the drama. Oh! Michael, is that Michael Keaton? No, it's Patterson. Patterson missed his header. He was the only man between Jackson and that goalie. But he managed to, managed to smooth it out, luckily for him. Beto's getting stiff, getting hurt. There's nothing he can do about it. Nothing. He's gone for the, the, the spectacle, but Talibar's just stood still and he's tried to jump into him. Everton corner again. Petrovic not getting harassed. Big whip. Chooks up. Oh, no, it's Chalabar up. Chooks away. And everyone spreads. Everton up to the halfway line. Mikulenko, big pass in. That was nice. Rowan, Everton. Two yards from the corner flag. Oh, man of the match. Huh, easy. Palmer. No question about it. Four goals. Did he get the assist? I don't think he did. Oh, they've just passed it straight to Nicholas Jackson. He's on his own. Four Evertonians. And then gets the door shot on him. Four just closing in on him. No support. Everyone's standing defense. Kai Sado's nicked it. But, yeah. The Corre doing his thing. Oh, yeah, Gallagher, you're going to get done for that one. Definitely a foul, mate. <laughs> Is that McNeil? Yeah. He's cramping up now. Oh, maybe the losing team does get cramped. <laughs> Chilwell on, Cassidy on. Chilwell we like to see. <laughs> Cassidy, he's got a lot to prove. But, I mean, in a game where you're 5-0 up, that's a good time to prove it. Get 12 minutes. Maybe 15. But Chilwell coming on for... No direct. Yeah, of course. Burnt an awful lot of pace. Chilwell, come on. Oh, Chilwell's on the left. Yep, duh. <laughs> Palmer's off as well. That's for Cassidy. Okay. Big standing ovation for Palmer. Of course. He's cold with it. He's cold with it. Four goals. One game. How, where does that put him in the Golden Boot rankings? I said it come in stolen and then big clearance. Communication perfect between him and Cucurella just then. Oh, Chukwemeka coming in hard and then again, yeah, pincer move from Everton. Chukwemeka is there, Cassidy's forward, Gusto's up. The pass was a little bit behind him, but Chuks can be forgiven. He's only just come on. Oh, that overlap was so easy. You should have played that. I say though, it's, I love it when he gets in a forward position. Everyone just sits back so deep off of him and he gets so much space. Trying to stretch Chilwell out already. He's not warm, he's not fresh, he's not game ready. Cassidy's there. Oh, he's not, they're not going to play it to him. They're not going to play any risks now. It's going to be ultra defensive Chelsea. Silver touches every play. You're just toying with it at the back now. Talabar, Gallagher. Cassado Gallagher. Oh, he's, he's lifted it over. Where is Chilwell? They left, they've left Cucurella in the, on the left as left back. And then Chilwell's playing left wing. Yeah, 
Yeah, Chilwell's playing left wing. We're playing four at the back with Chilwell at left wing and Cucurello at left back. No full back anymore. And they're overlapping each other. Interesting. Eighty second minute. And we are pushing. Big Chelsea win. Cassidy's off. He's finally got his first touch on the ball. Second. Playing it safe. Silva's going to touch every single play now. <laughs> Back to Pet. There you go. Bucarella's going to have big switch over. Yep, chill well on the left. And then straight through the centre again. Oh, Silva. Ah, oh, Jackson not quite getting it. Nice oh, guy, Sado. Didn't quite get there. It's got a bit, a, bit, a bit taken off of him for that. Oh, another nutmeg. Everton just won't close him today. Such. Oh, well, yeah, that's definitely an Everton ball. Everton throw in. Again, there's not really a lot I could discuss. It is now. We've established everything I think we need to. I think Erdogan is still actually leading the goal tally. 20. I think this needs to be updated live. No, incredible. Have a look for the live golden boot scores. Ah, oh, Premier League goals. Yep, Cole Palmer second with twenty. Premier League goals twenty. Matching Erling Ireland 20. Incredible. Watkins on 19. Palmer and Haaland joint first. Imagine Cole Palmer nicks the golden boot off of him this year for the Premier League. Incredible. I'm not sure he will because uh, they've got some sitters coming up. But Palmer has been. He's leapt himself. What, six places in this one game? He's gone from 16 to 20. In one game. That is amazing. Phil Foden must be really high as well. Phil Foden 14. Saka 14. Goals this year. Okay. They're very tired. They had 14 goals. Alright. Playing it safe. No advancements from either team. I think this is a stalemate now. I think Everton are quite happy to just take the 5-0. I think 5-0 is like the last score you can have before it starts to become like, what on earth? Like, if it's 6-0, anything above 5, I think it's just, it's like, right, your manager's starting to look a bit, or your players are just not turning up. Christo's now just going to play it to the corner. Yeah, corner play. That's not a free kick, apparently. So he got thrown on the floor, but Everton managed to nick the ball off of him. He's now running around again. Go on. I mean, Everton are being naughty with it in their own corner flag, but that's not going to do him any favours. If anything, it's just going to wind up a couple of Chelsea players. Chuck with Mecca needs that one. Calabar brought it down. Gallagher instead was the choice. Big switch out to Chile on the left. Jackson in so much space. Gallagher. Caicedo. Trying to be tricky with it. Yeah, foul in the middle by Gomez. I mean, glitching the matrix for the high five, but it is what it is. Cucurella left. Chelsea just really comfortable. Really comfortable. No sweat. No, no stress on them at all. Said it's silver at the back. Gallagher. Everton have got to start 
pressing everything forward in order to just to just you know break the clean sheet. I think if they just get one goal, maybe, but maybe they just don't want to risk that six. Like I was saying, I think six, especially seven, but I think six is the start of embarrassment. Seven is just horrendous. Anything above that, your manager has to has to concede or quit. You can't get a game in the Premier League that wrong. What was it, eight or nine nil when the Scott Parker got axed from Bournemouth? From I think it was Liverpool that dished that out. But then again, and Liverpool beat Man U seven nil. There was no there was no second for that, was there? So help me on. Ten to ten. It's a late game. Who's coming off now? Gilchrist on. And I think that's Washington. So Gusto's off. And Jackson off. I think that's Washington. And Gilchrist. The honey badger. And I think Washington looks about 14. Yeah, Jackson off. Rest the lads. Four minutes of the game left. You can't mess this one up, Poch. So, we're good. Here's Washington. Okay, it's Gilchrist and Washington on. Young boys. Silver, workhorse. You'd think he would have brought Silver off for Badia Shile, but nope. Badia Shile has been rested. Pogo Silva doing 90 whole minutes. Not had to contend with a lot. His midfield have been absolutely rock solid. There's maybe five minutes left and genuinely hurt Everton this week. Hope they recover. They're going to stay up. They'll get another year. Not sure what, uh, what bodes for them next season. What they need to do. Cool, I have no idea what they need to do. They've got Beto. He's a decent striker. Pickford, decent keeper. They've just not had... I think they're two centre-backs. Tarkovsky and Branthwaite. I don't think Branthwaite's... I, don't, I wouldn't say overrated because I don't think anyone rates him, but certainly not underrated. Uh, I just don't think he's quite good enough. Tarkovsky needs somebody else next to him. Might be worth buying somebody that can help him out. Maybe get Maguire at Everton. Big pass through. Washington, his first touch of the ball, he absolutely minced everyone. They get a couple of touches at least, a pair of them. Washington's had some. Oh. Nothing to report. No one to challenge my predictions. Sure, well, on the left. He's taking a shot. Oh! Oh, Gilchrist has scored! Unbelievable! His first goal, I think, for Chelsea in the 90th minute, 6 0. What was I saying? The embarrassment. Oh, that was just. Oh, no. Everton, what have you done? Chilwell was just like, okay, I'm going to shoot. Just takes it. And then it comes out for Gilchrist, who smashes it on the half volley. He's done a Kovacic. Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh my word. Well done, sir. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Gilchrist with his first goal for Chelsea. Playing high on the right. Chile in, 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 in. Everyone's asleep. No one's there. Who's the left back for Everton? Absolutely plaps it through. Oh, no way. Plus seven minutes at a time. Everton just want to go to bed. Oh, there's a near post for Pickford as well. He slotted it in. This looks like Mason Mount's goal from last year. I think it was against Norwich where he's absolutely ploughed it like that. Bang! Oh, oh, I've got to give that to... Who is that there? Is that Decore? Look at him loving it. Gilchrist buzzing. Buzzing, getting in the crowd, giving everyone the cuddles, man. Cassidy right behind him. Oh, wow. 6-0. Un unbelievable. Unbelievable.
Wow. 6 0. Questions for Sean Dyche. I don't know. Patterson off. Godfrey on. Far too late to bring Godfrey on. Five minutes left of this game. We're seven minutes out of time. Two minutes in already. And raw. 6 0 to Chelsea. Definitely our best result this year, this season, this campaign, whatever you want to call it. Ukarela up. I'm going to say it. Chelsea have had a flawless game. A couple of wild touches from a couple of players, but this game could not have gone better for Chelsea. They have just dominated every area, every battle, even aerially somehow with the prowess that Everton bring height-wise with two players that are above 6'4". Not a single one of our players is above 6'4". Like, oh, Chukwemeka, don't let it run under your feet and then give up. You've got to chase it. I just don't want to start getting cocky and make me have to eat my words because, oh, Thiago Silva is just silky smooth. Offside as well. How is he... How's he still going 92 minutes in? Plus there was five minutes. So it's already been 97 minutes of actual play for Thiago Silva. Just. Well in, sir. Well in. It's not the best game of the season for us because that would have been the 4-4 against Man City. Because that was a devastating blow to Man City in their title campaign but I mean they're still going to win the title but Gallagher oh, Gallagher not one mistake has been made by these boys they've had a couple of like I said rough touches but that's not a mistake that's just they're not intending to do that they've not won oh Everton what are you playing at just booting it off the pitch oh that's Godfrey Left foot goals, two. Right foot goals, one. Headed goals, one. Shots, five. Goals from outside the box, two. Player of the match, of course. <laughs> it goes without saying. Gallagher. Gilchrist on the right in acres of space. Chukameka's calling, but Gallagher's controlling. Everton are pressing every way they need, they want to, but back to Petrovic. Three players screaming forward for Everton. Beto Harrison. Yeah, Silver out to Kooks. Kooks down the wing. Caicedo. Oh, he's, oh, he's been unlucky there. The first 50-50, I think we've lost this whole game. <laughs> Where we've not got the bounce. Mad how that... Oh, legs flying through. Flying in. Ashley Young, has he got it? He's managed to get the big whip in. Petrovic up. Gilchrist out. Defensive awareness, 10. Goalkeeping ability, finally, it's going through Petrovic. He's come out, punched it, not tried to catch it. If in doubt, smack it out. Simples. Oh, it's Cassidy try. Who's that? Oh, it's Washington. Yeah, Washington trying to absolutely wrestle. Oh, my word. What is going on? Nearly an own goal. I don't know who came on. 22 for Everton. I don't know who that is, but whatever they're playing at, they need to stop. Yes. Let's have a little look, see, shall we? Da, da, da. 22 is Godfrey. So, yeah, nearly scored no goal. Pickford was way off of his line and then so he's just tried to pass it back to him and not realised he's miles out of goal. But one minute left of this heartache for Everton fans. They've already all gone home, surely. There's probably about three or four diehards that are in there still. Mikolenko playing the whole game as well. Oh, it's fallen nicely to Beto. Oh, Petrovic, even with the deflections, got it away. Yeah, it deflected though. It was routine, but it's deflected. And that's going to be a free kick to Gallagher. Yeah. They will rinse this free kick this free kick for as long as they can. Smash this up the field. And that's it. This did deflect, didn't it? Yeah, it bounced. Very well corrected. 
well in Petrovic. Cucurella's got all the time. There's no press on him. Chilwell there to pick him up. 1-2 to Chooks. Chilwell's now in the centre. Gilchrist wants. Oh, Chooks in the middle wants. Oh, they're trying to play it through again. Everton have finally closed the gaps in their midfield, but it's six goals too late and about 97 minutes too late as well. This game's over. 97 minutes has been reached. Game. Well in, Chelsea. What a performance. Nothing else to say. If you like the video, like the video. Press subscribe. It's completely free. You'll see the next one. Take care.